So when it comes to selling the finance suite, well, we've sold a lot of finance suites, right? We've had you know hundreds of partners sell thousands and thousands of finance suites. So we have a very good idea of exactly what it takes for you to successfully make a sale. And this is what it comes down to. There are three core steps involved with selling a finance suite. Now, the very first step is an interview. It's setting up the presentation. It's a qualifying process. It's making sure that the finance suite is a good fit for the customer and that they want the finance suite and you getting enough intelligence or information to know if a presentation makes sense. If a presentation does make sense, that's when you move to step two, which is provide a really powerful winning presentation that gets them to buy. And the third step is actually closing the sale, going through, asking them to buy, giving them options to be able to pay, um, and actually getting the money and closing the sale. So when we talk about the interview, the interview process is really all about seeing if the finance suite is a good fit for the prospect. This is to see if their wants and needs are in line with what the suite can and actually will deliver. So let's say you're dealing with the customer and they want money tomorrow, but yet they have no collateral, no cash flow, and bad credit. Well, that's not going to happen, okay? They can go anywhere else in the world they want to, and nobody's going to give them money tomorrow when they have no cash flow, no credit, no collateral. We know business credit's the best fit for them, business credit would stay would take them at least 60 days to even start getting vendor credit, it would take them about 120 days to start getting cash credit. So if somebody insists they need money tomorrow and they don't have cash flow credit or and, or good credit and collateral, well they're going to have no chance of getting money quickly then anyways. So you need to be talking to them during the interview process to make sure that their expectations are in line with reality to really know if it makes sense to present. And for the record, I've seen so many of these situations where somebody comes in, they insist they need money tomorrow, then I tell them there's no way they're going to get it. They go look a hundred other places and they come back three months later and say, okay, I now have reasonable expectations of time frames. How can we get started? When can I get money? So sometimes people just need to get educated before they really accept and realize that the expectations they have are unreasonable. So you've got to make sure they have reasonable expectations coming in. That's really part of what the interview process is about. It's also to d determine if the finance suite can meet and exceed their expectations. You know, is the finance suite a good fit for them or not? That's part of what the interview is all about. You need to figure out what it is that they're looking to do. What problem do they have that needs that needs solved? And is the finance suite really the best solution for that problem? Well, you're only going to tell if you do a proper interview. Now, the other point of the interview is also about qualifying. Do they have the money to buy? Do they have the desire to buy? Okay, you're dealing with some people that are just here to get money. And they think they can get money, some of them even when they can't get money. So you know, are you dealing with somebody that actually even has money to spend? You know, one of the biggest problems that salespeople make is that they spend too much time selling to people that will never buy their product. And one of the biggest reasons you can find yourself selling to somebody that won't buy is when you're trying to sell to somebody that's broke. So if somebody's broke and doesn't have any money, they have credit limits on their credit cards of $300, $500, they're all maxed out, they have no money in their bank account, well then they're not going to afford to be able to buy a two, three thousand dollar finance suite for you, even if you give them $500 a $1,000 a month payments. So part of the qualifying and interviewing process is to qualify them. Do they even have the money to spend to buy the finance suite? And it's also about building trust, building rapport, because that's what's essential to closing the sale. The closing of the sale happens within the first 10 seconds you talk to a customer, because that's when you start building trust. That's when you really start building rapport. So it's very important that you dig into the resource that's below this video, because because that's when we dive in depth into the interview process. We talk about the exact questions you should ask, why the questions are being asked, what kind of intelligence you should be getting from them, how you ask qualifying questions without being intrusive to see if they have the money, uh, to make sure that they have a problem that could be solved. So the video below this resource gives you all the information you need to really do a proper interview. So make sure you dive in and check that out.